You mentioned a few kinds of AI tools uh, to generate code itself, mm -hmm. to check the code, to yes. tell you if it's good quality. Yes. Are there any other kinds of AI tools in, in the development space as well? Uh, well, yes, and um, any AI can be trained <laughs> to do, <laughs> to do pretty much pretty. <laughs> what, what do you want them to do. They are very useful in generated like a draft of code. And okay. then you can, with your expertise, you can come and reanalyze it, um, play a little bit with them. But of course, I think around 30% of the speed <laughs> It's quite, uh, it's quite useful. It's not like you describe the problem to the AI and you click a button and they generate the entire code folder and it compiles and runs. Or, I don't know, maybe they can do that. Um, but more like you're generating piece by piece and you're taking it and integrating into the code, mm -hmm, into mm -hmm. the code base. Well, some of the tools um, uh, proud themselves that can generate an entire like full application, application, okay. full application, five hours, and that's it, production ready. That's not quite true. Um, but I think the wise way to, to use it is to adapt it very much to your standards, uh, to document it very well, uh, what uh, you generate, how do you generate, and what are the areas that you want AI to interfere in your code. But what I think it's um, even more interesting and nice is that can offer you some explanations to some pieces of code. So if you have a, a function, a, a problem, and it's kind of a spaghetti code there, and you don't remember what you've done there, you can just use AI to refresh a little bit your memory and to try to explain what that piece of code is meant to to do one thing that also got my uh, got me interested in using uh, these tools was to generate uh, unit tests uh, okay. Because, uh, of course... Nobody wants to write unit tests. <laughs> so. I think uh, every developer, when he hears about unit tests, yes, we want them. No, we don't want to do them. <laughs> of course, with a set of, uh, set of standards and rules um, uh, to make sure all the tests are uh, written in the same uh, way um, can really help you with a, with a boilerplate uh, regarding that. That doesn't mean that all the tests will uh, pass <laughs> from the beginning and uh, you need to interfere there. 